For parents who worry about their children's safety on the internet, the newest generation of monitoring apps may just be what they're looking for. Some of them are so sophisticated now, they can screen for red flags and alert parents without violating a child's privacy. Being a kid in today's digital world isn't always easy. I think that there's a number of potential negative influences online. And being a parent trying to help your child navigate through all of it can be just as difficult, especially when it's nearly impossible to keep track of everything they're doing online. Increasingly, when we think of all of the data that a teenager can produce online, it's a lot of content. That's why more parents are turning to apps that can monitor their kids' digital life, screen for red flags, and immediately alert parents. Apps like Bark. Bark's chief parent officer, Titania Jordan, says the internet needs precautions, just like the real world. You don't send your child to the beach without sunscreen. You don't put them in a car without a seat belt. Bark uses artificial intelligence to screen information from more than 30 different applications. It's social media applications, it's also text messaging, it's also different apps that they might have. And warns parents when it sees any danger. They have alerts that are triggered if there's incidents like cyberbullying, um, self-harm, violence, um, sexting, a number of different things. Last year, Bark even flagged a parent about a possible school shooting. Their parent called the school. The school shut down the next day so that they could investigate and keep everyone safe. The app also gives parents advice on how to discuss whatever the problem is related with their child. But Dr. Candace Biernesser, a licensed clinical social worker with UPMC, thinks it can go even further. She's currently working with Bark to expand the app's services. I'm talking about developing um, an online intervention that would provide um, resources, coping resources, and support essentially immediately following an incident of cyberbullying. And it would live on the child's social media platform, so it would be right at their fingertips. Monitoring is really helpful um, and getting alerted to it, parents getting alerted to these things is really important. And it would be great to take a next step that we can actually intervene to um, reduce things like cyber victimization in the moment that they're experiencing it. But Bark isn't the only monitoring app out there. Libby Ackerman, editor-in-chief of the website SuperParent, also recommends Circle Go, which monitors devices at work through your Wi-Fi, and Pocket Guardian, which analyzes a child's messages and social media. I can, you know, understand certain phrases and context to really know that if there is a real issue or not and whether or not a parent should be alerted. There's also Custodio, Net Nanny, and Mama Bear, which all get the seal of approval from safe tech advocacy group Common Sense Media. While all these apps are great for parents, I do think it's a step in the right direction. Beardnesser cautions there's still a fine line between protecting your kids and respecting their privacy. It's always going to be a complicated issue. She encourages parents to still have good old-fashioned talks with their kids. An app is not necessarily meant to be something that's a standalone um, monitoring approach, but it can be really useful in addition to having really open and supportive conversations um, with teens about what's happening with their social media use and also um, having conversations about kind of appropriate online behavior in general. And she encourages kids to be open to the process. The more that the parent and the child agree, not necessarily on every single aspect of monitoring, but at least the larger principles, the more that when something bad does happen in that child's online life, they might be comfortable actually going and talking to the parent about what's really happening. Now, the monitoring apps we mentioned cost anywhere from a few dollars up to $15 a month. Experts say it's also important for parents to keep an eye on any online gaming your kids are involved in. They suggest adjusting the parental controls on each gaming console to create an environment that feels safe for them and you.